we have in our program, Francisco J. Colaico. Uh, yung mga accolades, uh, alam ko si Mr. Colaico would rather let go of that. Uh, tingnan na lang una sa mga first time makakakita sa kanya. Oh, medyo bagets pala to, medyo uh, uh, bata-bata. Uh, Doon po ang topic natin ngayon, senior age living. Uh, yung nakaraan, yung kasalukuyan, ang ano pa ba yung uh, hinaharap for pag pinag-uusapan ang senior age living. Uh, welcome to the show, Mr. Francisco Colaico. Hello, umaga, Arman. Chichi. Uh, Father, Father Migs. Father Migs. Papa Bear na kasi nakasulat. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, po po. Good morning. Thank bearer, you. Bearer of good news daw po kasi kay uh, Papa uh, Bear. Uh, Mr. Polaiko, what a real honor and pleasure to have you on the program. Bago po ang lahat, uh, belated happy birthday po sa inyo. Thank you. I, it's the, it's the uh, what, third day of a new life adventure for <laughs> Zaken. And um, I want to just share before we start. This Go ahead, so cool. sir. This is, October. this is October, the month of October, I mean, yung aking alma mater, Ateneo. This is a special devotion to Our Lady, yung aming pa. So kami sa eskwela noon, parating pag October na, nakasuot na nitong miraculous mental. I have not stopped that practice whenever, wherever I am. So, parang nangyayari kasi sa amin, ah, majority of our, my classmates, Para kaming hubad, lumalabas, pag walang rosalyo. That has been our, at least, para, in, si iba, cellphone eh. Diba? Pag wala kang cellphone, para kang hubad eh. To a certain extent, that's also true. Pero ako, kailangan nasa bulsa ko parate. Eh, rosary, eh, wherever I go. And it has proven to be very, very calming, very, I don't know how to describe it, but it has uh, acted like a guardian angel in many times, many occasions of my life, including the time when I had a total wreck. I was driving total wreck. I almost killed seven people because of that. I won't go into the details. But the first thing I saw when I opened my eyes inside the car was my long lost rosary on my foot. Kaya, Billy Bakov, I have that firm uh, belief on the intervention of our league. And this is her month. I just wanted to start that because I. Not too many people know about that. So one of those things that have a meaning in one's life. So the topic that I gave you to me because now, the Holy Armand is all about. Ano ba yung matanda? I don't consider myself matanda. <laughs> to begin with, I just think I have a new purpose because that's what life is all about, diba? And. Uh, I don't know. Do you want me to rumble on or do you want uh, to, uh, to ask yeah. questions? Uh, magtatanong po kami, Mr. Colaico, pero oh, better, na, better. Yeah. napakaganda po nung inyong uh, ginawang pasakali, eh, yung inyo pong uh, opening remarks sa ating pong gagawing panayam sa inyo ngayon. Uh, siguro po, uh, sisimulan ko na sa pagtatanong, ano po yung mga naging... Uh, main principles or philosophies ninyo sa buhay na siya pong naging gabay ninyo uh, sa lahat po ng aspeto ng inyong buhay, mapapersonal, sa inyo pong negosyo, sa inyo pong mga advocacies. Siguro it goes under the three words that form a like a trinity of values from my parents, from my, my family, from the school. Abinina, it's always trust, trust, commitment, and love. Yung, yung values na yun, nasa atin lahat yun eh, in varying degrees. And, uh, isa na, may nanonood ako sa isang inspirational speaker, 
Sabi niya, there are, there are five common things that people generally who are at least Catholic or religious, want in their lives. One is to succeed professionally. Pangalawa, to have a good personal life, happy life, happy family. People want to feel needed. Pangatlo. Pangapat, people want to have a secure food future. At panglima, we want to go to heaven. Yan ang lima daw na common sabi. Tama nga naman. But uh, to achieve those things, there are four things we need to have in my view. No? We need something to love or somebody to love. We need something or someone to believe in. Something to hope for. A goal. And in all these things, we need to make sure we don't just maintain it, we just have to grow in those beliefs, in those goals. Kailangan grow. Ako, I translate it very simply as learning something new every day. At the end of the day, you have to ask yourself a question. Is there anything new I learned today? What was it? There's always something new. This one is watching you. If you're conscious about it, we grow. That That's the kind of mindset that I've had. So, but of course, uh, the number one, and we also advocate that in our seminars, you have to know why you are doing things. We, we, most people fail to ask in Tanong, Bakit ko ba ginagawa ito? The why is the most important thing. Because if you know why, then you can innovate, you can improve, you can do things better, and you can grow. And you can help other people if you know why you're doing things to begin with. Unfortunately, hindi masyado na-emphasize sa mga eskwela yan eh. Sa eskwela, na-emphasize tasks. So the thing you need to do. Hindi why. Ako, I was fortunate enough in my first job in a multinational company, they had a very specific department of industrial engineering that trains everybody who, who is employed. The first training you get or, or exposure you get is why? Why is it that we are doing this? So that you can save, you can save in the way you do it. You can know how to relate to the people who are with you in doing it to your clients, to your co-employees, to your supplier. It's always the why, the why, the why. And I found that to be the foundation of my uh, professional life since then. Just be aware, why? Sometimes the, re- the answer is why is nagbabago. Nagbabago yun. Hindi static yun. But if you focus on that, it's almost guaranteed that you will grow. Provided you are open to helping others and being helped as well. Hindi yung kaya ko lahat yan. I don't need your help. Ako lang magaling. Kaya sabi nga nila, di ba, the best leader is the one who doesn't talk but just listens. Hindi ako ganun eh. Minsan mali ako doon. I know, I know that. Pero I realize that that is more important to listen to, to your neighbor, to your clients, to your family, of course, to our church. So, if you ask me, that summarizes the, in everything you do. I think those are the elements of success. Oh, po, thank you. And it's such a pleasure listening to your words of wisdom. At ngayon, nauunawaan ko na, o mas nauunawaan ko, Kung bakit po para nga sa inyo, nung binati namin kayo ng happy birthday na isa na naman itong adventure para sa inyo because of the way you have this uh, outlook in life. Okay, I will not deprive uh, Papa Bear, Father Miggs, of the chance to ask you a question, sir. Go ahead, Father. Ayan, no? so, uh, Sir Fran- uh, Francisco, no? Francis, ano bang ano? <laughs> Parang ngayon lang kasi ako naka-encounter ng mess, ano no? malayo-layo ang, ang, ang ating edad, no? Pero yun nga. But somehow, ano po? Uh, ano lang yung physical, uh, physical uh, element lang yun. Pero hindi tayo nagkakalayo sa edad. 
Yeah, the brand is yes, po. Uh, ito po no? so yung ito na you reach out this age, no? Pero sa sa inyong ano pagkakaroon ng edad, no? So sino sino po yung mga taong naging gabay, no? At naging modelo, naging ehemplo sa sa inyong uh, pagkakaroon ng uh, uh, edad, pagkakadagdag ng edad at ganoon din sa so pagkakaroon ng ano uh, kamalayan, no? Habang nagkakaroon ng uh, nagkakaisip tayo. Uh, the first person, obviously, well, not obviously, siguro, but you see, I I, uh, I grew up with a single parent. My father died when I was only four months old. So my mom was my father and mother at the same time. And she's my idol because I saw in her never a, an idol moment in her life. He was teaching education in the UST, became a professor emeritus. Even at the late age of 90, she was still teaching. And all her life, there was never a single idle moment. She was either preparing her lesson, giving, uh, acting as tutor to students, writing textbooks, uh, taking care of us in, this, in her spare moments, and even doing a radio program, the Catholic Hour at that time, sa DCBB, every week. At ako yung alalay niya doon. Okay. That was when I started to appreciate classical music. Because Don Elizalde was huh. had the Manila Symphony Orchestra in DC. So habang nasa radio booth siya, nandun ako nakikinig. Every week, every Sunday yun. So, Doon ang naging uh, my primary influence for the finer things in life and the principles. At yung, yung wala problema, wala solution. Because, you know, raising seven children alone is no joke. And I saw her doing that. And the happiest moments we would have with her on Sundays when we would line up to get our ears clean. By her. Pili lang kami yan. Agawang kami magkakapatid. Napakasarap. Napakasarap. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Those were happy, happy moments. Happy pinagagawa namin yun. Early on in her life, she thought, you only give what you get, what you have. And she gives everything. Everything she had. So, sa akin, the next personality would be my uh, class moderator in high school. First year, his pastor, Father Abisamis, he gave mm-hmm. me the encouragement, so, so giving opinions, right or wrong, just to say what you want, write it. Walang masama, walang tama, walang mali. And uh, he, he was very, very encouraging. Then I had other professors who were more, not as influential, but I would remember them more for the technical aspects of of uh, what I was studying, especially in business school, when uh, yeah, I, I had entrepreneurs as professors. Doon ko na afford yung mga values ng entrepreneurs that don't be afraid to fail, because failure is necessary if you want to succeed. What is important is you convert failure to lessons and not remain as failure. So, yun, yun ang mga brief. Ngayon, oh. I'm, I'm, no, I'm reading now a lot more about the lives of saints because I've, my wife is very active in, ano, in Bible studies and I get involved. So, ngayon, I'm learning also. Napakadami palang grabe. They're being super, super human beings because of their belief. Uh, I cannot pinpoint a particular one, but I read a lot about them now because I have time. So, very, very interesting. I would recommend people who have the time to read about these saints. Grabe, and kanina pinagdaanan. So, Opo, at uh, they, they serve Real as life, examples. Eh, no? Real Everything. life. Mga totoong tao. Hindi, totoong, hindi totoong sila. Totoong tao. Totoong tao. Hindi, totoong tao. hindi yung right. Marvel heroes. Hindi. Right, hindi right. <laughs> <laughs> Tama. Hindi. And they, they can certainly uh, inspire us and uh, serve 
as our models. Yeah. Okay, nako mga kapanalig, mahaba po po ang ating panahon. Marami pa tayong gustong itanong kay Mr. Colaico. Sa ating pong pagpapatuloy, gusto ko po <laughs> ay uh, mabigyan niya pa tayo ng payo sa pagharap sa senior age. No? Sinasabi ng iba, afternoon or evening of life, paano ba ang dapat na pananaw natin sa yugtong ito sa ating buhay? Paano haharapin ang mga kabiguan? Uh, kung tayo po ay yung iba dyan, empty nesters na, retirado na, paano natin uh, pahahalagahan pa yung panahon na mayroon tayo? All that and more sa ating pong pagpapatuloy dito sa Armado ka sa katotohanan.